Hello and welcome to Iceman channel. This is the news of the RFID hacking world. I did a better job today. I'm gonna redeem myself when it comes to DEFCON talks. So I'm gonna walk through all the talks that's related somehow with the RFID hacking community and which villages you should also visit. Tag along. On Friday, there's nothing. But on Saturday, Saturday, there's so many talks. So I'm gonna take all of them, bit by bit. All right, let's see. We have the badge of shame breaking into secure facilities with OSDP. That is a good, interesting talk for you who's into packs and you know about the VGAND and ESP keys. Now we're looking into doing the same, but with OSDP. So that's a talk for you guys. Next one is the talk about the CEOs relaying. Unlocking doors from half a continent away with Trevor Stevado and Sam Haskins. This is the talk I mentioned in the last video about they're gonna release their standalone mode. So this is gonna be interesting. Next one up is physical attacks against smartphones with Christopher Wade. This is also uh, the talk, or that's the dude who's called Iskuri and made some really interesting uh, attacks about, uh, against Android phones, NFC chips last year, or uh, was it two years? It was an amazing talk, so, so go and watch. This is not super uh, into RFID, but he's well worth listening to. Next one coming up is contactless overflow, code execution in payment terminals and ATMs over NFC. Here we go, this is for us. This is a magnificent talk for you guys who are into point of sales and uh, EMV things. I love to see this talk. Another one that touches base with uh, RFID hacking is polynons, an ESC DSA attack and polynomial dance. Recovering the private keys from um, elliptic cryptos, which is touches base in the sense of uh, we have a lot of signatures on the modern RFID tags and the high frequency field, which uses uh, EC, elliptic cryptology uh, signings. So, yeah, interesting in that sense. And then on Sunday, we have Tetra, Tour de Force, jailbreaking digital radios. So Tetra is the terrestrial trunk radio used in Belgium and other places. And the guys found out that their crypto is a little bit weak and has an intentional backdoor. Now, why is this interesting for RFID hacking? Yes, that is because Carlo Mayer, he is not only very good at cryptos, he's actually exceptionally good at cryptos, he is the one who was behind the hardened MyFair Classic attack that you called hard nested. Uh, it is his master thesis, just want to mention it, and he is the one who came up with it. His professor, his supervisor was Rul Verdult. Verdult, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. No, 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 wasn't intentional, that's us. So we always uh, address this attack to Raoul, uh, but it's not, it's Colin Mayer. He's a super friendly person to meet in, in public or meet, so say hi to him from me or if you ever see him. And uh, yeah, well worth knowing this. A little side fact. I'm gonna keep the links up uh, for all these talks in the description of the video, um, so don't worry about that. Next up. Villages. There are so many villages on DEF CON. But which ones are related to RFID hacking? There are quite a few actually that touches base. Now, let's start out with the first one. Biohacking village with all the implants. It's a good place to go. Maybe you should get yourself an implant. I don't see a problem with it. And you can learn one or two things. It's kind of interesting. Your next one is Payment Village. Payment Village is doing the point of sales, like we said before, and the EMV cards. It's really, really interesting. Tap and play. Go there and play for it. I will go there and look at it myself. Next up on that, after that, is the Car Hacking Village, where we have uh, TPMS sensors, the key fobs, charging cards, Teslas. It is also touching base in a very superficial way, but yes, bring a flipper and uh, stuff like that to that place and enjoy it. 
Uh, another one that's kind of obvious is the lock picking village. All those electronic locks, um, you know, how to pick them is RFID based, of course. They most likely have some interesting challenges. And then finally, you have a radio frequency village where myself and ZeroXFF will, you know, uh, keep our little space up there so you can talk to us. And it's also filled up with different people. You also have TCP Reset, Nick, who is in charge of a uh, uh, RF capture the flags uh, NFC based uh, challenges. He has come up with some new interesting one both on UHF and uh, and the old ones. So yeah, it's gonna run that one in a Super interesting way if you and never tried it. Just go for it. There's lots of other people in the community is gonna hang around there as well I heard that bets uh, Has uh, brought a vending machine and that's uh, a use at NFC payments so you should also have some fun with that one um, yeah let me know in the comments below if you have other villages that you think relates to RFID hacking but yes this is the ones that I know about right now I hope you enjoyed it bye